So now we've returned to best. You're going to see the best throughout the course. And the reason it is is because this is our foundation of everything that you want to be doing for extraction. It's a synergistic merging of science and economics as you're moving through a process of what extraction process to choose for what your business is, as well as from there making decisions and pivoting that is certainly going to happen as you grow your business. Every business plan I've seen, it's a beautiful bike ride, there's a checkered flag, it's a downhill, it's rolling downhill, it's a beautiful day. And that's what you typically go into looking at it. Your business plan is typically looking for a certain amount of funding and a certain amount of extraction and the different things that you're expecting to have happen. Reality. Reality is that the challenge is often overlooked and well underestimated. So what looked like a nice bike ride has now turned into a mountain bike ride and you're barely hanging on for your life. You've got the helmet on, you've got the bike gear, you have everything to try and that when you hit that tree, you're going to be able to survive and get back up. The plant is significantly challenging, no matter what type of cannabinoids you're getting out or what type of formulation you're trying to make. Each one of these challenges you're going to have to make, each one of these challenges you're going to have to exceed and, and go through a successful process of pivoting many times. So the biggest thing that we want to do is that it's not magic, it's not impossible, but don't underestimate the challenges that you're going to face to get there. So one of the things that I came through along the way was I was reading about Willie Sutton and thinking about where is the money? And so hypothetically or allegedly, it was asked during an interview of asking him, why did you rob the banks? And his purported answer was, because that's where the money is. So the money's not sitting on the street, it's not sitting in a, in a, in a drain, it's not sitting uh, in a car park, it's in the bank. Now, Willie Sutton also went through his autobiography, said that he didn't actually say that, and he thought it was a, you know, someone had just made it up. But that now became Sutton's law into medical science of not chasing down things where the, where the treatment isn't actually going to be. Focus on where the treatment is most successful. So now I've made it into my own law. Concentrate on where the cannabinoids are concentrating, rather than wasting time and money extracting every part of the plant. And so one of the things we're going to look at is where are the cannabinoids and what should I be extracting? So based on McKay's law, and that is to extract where the cannabinoids are. There are three main types of trichomes. And the trichomes is where the biosynthesis takes place of the cannabinoids. The first one that I want to cover is bulbous trichomes. They're very small. If you look at the plant under the microscope, you can see them on the, on the leaf underneath. They're 25 to 30 microns in, in height. They have very little cannabinoids in them. The second type of trichome are the sisal trichomes, the capitate sisal trichomes. These look like small spears, so on a low power microscope, you can see them very easily, even early on into the plant. So three weeks into the plant, you can look over on the bottom of a leaf and you'll see the sisal trichomes along the rim of the bottom of that leaf. And it goes all the way through the process, all the way through the maturing of the plant. So they look like small spears. The third type, which is the ones that you typically see in all the photographs and the magazines and on the internet, and that is the capitate stalk trichome. And on this side, it looks like a stalk that goes up and with a small bulb on top, which is probably where it gets its name. And in that part of the process, we're going to see why the cannabinoids are there. But this is the, the major part of where the cannabinoids are being stored. So when you look at where you should be extracting, it goes back to Sutton Law and it goes back to John McKay's Law, and that is go where the cannabinoids are. The money is in the bank. The cannabinoids are going to be mostly in, this, in the capitate stock trichomes. 